Welcome back. We're continuing our discussion with Keith Poston and State Representative Julie Von Haven. And both of you, thank you again for being here. Let's start with uh, a little discussion on uh, tools for school, because that's really kind of what we are talking about in addition to the bigger picture of funding schools. Uh, so what is it that you do for the well, schools? Well, as I, as I mentioned earlier, where Wake Ed Partnership exists to support whatever, really whatever the needs are right. in Wake County Public Schools. And Tools for Schools um, was an idea that we had at, the, at our organization um, last year. It opened in January of last year, so just a little over a year ago. Just to address a very simple yet glaring gap in our schools, which is why are public school teachers having to go walk around Target and Walmart and places and buy basic school supplies for their own students in their classrooms. I mean, Are we talking paper, pencils? Yes. I mean, that kind of basic The erasers, basic stuff glue? that you would expect. Yes, all of that. Um, the, in a, across the state of North Carolina, the average that we were hearing and had been reported was $526 a year. We actually surveyed Wake County Public School teachers, and they told us it's about $900 a year. And, I, and every time I speak to a group, like I was at a Rotary uh, a few weeks ago, and like there was a spouse of a teacher, he's like, We've way exceeded that. I mean, because it's, and I remember my mom, you know, who's a retired educator, my sister is still in the school system down in Cumberland County. You would go, you'd have one cart for your own children's school supplies and another cart for the things you needed for your school. So we said, how can we help this? And there have been other models like this that we had seen in, in other parts of the country to we will buy and get donations through fundraising and through school supply drives. And we will set up essentially a free supply store and we would have teachers would come in they would have like a like point so everything would have a point value and you can just you sign up for shopping and come in we didn't know how it was going to go we didn't know if we were able to keep it stocked we didn't know if teachers would drive if it would be worth their time to come so it was a little bit of like this seems like a great idea let's try it out and we opened still at the tail end of covid but boy it took off and by summer last year we were holding our first community supply drive and we were getting overwhelmed by the generosity of individuals and churches and civic groups and corporations bringing us money and bringing us supplies. And so we are now you know, operating weekly um, and weekends too um, for teachers to come and get whatever they need. And you know, it's, it's heartwarming on one hand, but it's also um, hard to hear. They'll say, this is for us? And like, this is like Christmas. And you're like, God, you know, it shouldn't be this way. But we're glad we're there. And you know, I, um, uh, when we introduced this legislation uh, with Julie, when she um, uh, graciously agreed to, to do this, uh, to work with us on it, I said, I want the General Assembly to put us out of, out of business. I would love for those teachers to have everything they need so our store isn't needed. But uh, until it's not needed, um, we hope to keep it running through uh, philanthropic donations and donations of supplies. And that's kind of how it works. Well, that's crazy that you have to do it. I'll just be honest. I'm glad you are doing it, and thank you for that. But let's talk about your legislation then, and that would be, what is it, HP 510. Right. Mm -hmm. What is it, and how could it take care of this issue? It's a really simple bill. I mean, it's called the School Supplies Act of 20, 2023, and it basically would just get us back up to 2008 levels. Um, with I think it's $83 million mm -hmm. uh, school investment supplies. just for school supplies. And this is for the whole state and it would be distributed throughout the state based on a school district's ADM or their enrollment basically. And so I'm not asking for us to actually have any more than we <laughs> once did at one point. You know, we don't wanna say, you know, of course we want even more, you know, funding than that but we felt like it was really necessary just to get back up to baseline because we've fallen so low over the last decade that we just need to get back up to where we were in 20, 2008. Yeah, and, it's, and you're right, it wasn't enough then, but I mean, gosh, we gotta start somewhere. Yeah. And I believe, the, I think the fiscal research group at the General Assembly calculated, this is like less than 2% of like what the, um, the, the budget surplus is right now. And so it's, it's really, in many ways a drop in the bucket, um, yet it would make a big difference for teachers and students in, across the country, including here, I mean across the state, including here in Wake County. How would you guarantee that it would actually go to it? Because we already have money that should be going to it. 
Well, we do have, you know, specific allocations in our so, budget for uh -huh. school supplies particularly. So this would go directly to that, that budget line item in the budget. So we know that if it got funded and it got approved, it would go to this, to this need. Um, I will say that also, you know, like Keith said, like funding school supplies isn't just about school supplies. It's really about supporting our teachers. And right now they do not feel supported. They are constantly being given more work to do, more you know, money out of their own pockets being spent on things like this. And we have a real severe teacher pipeline issue here in North Carolina. And so this one small measure, I think could even just help you know, with um, just emotional support for teachers, making them see that like people do care about what they're doing. They care that they're using money out of their own pockets and you know, maybe they would stay in the profession longer, which is what we need. I think that's a great point. I really do part of what I love when I go out and work out at, the, um, at Tools for Schools and um, Representative Von Hafen and some of her colleagues have come out and volunteered. Anyone watching, we're always looking for volunteers to come help. We thank the teachers for what they're doing and they appreciate it and they, and they thank us for, for being there. I do think um, they're in the crosshairs of so much stuff. You know, regardless of your politics, I think we all know that teachers are, they're getting all the societal issues, whether it's, it's uh, school violence or mental health issues, um, lack of funding res resources, respect. Um, that anything we can do to make our teachers feel appreciated and supported is worth doing. Uh, and there's so much more we could do on this. I wish we had more time, but unfortunately we don't. But I would like to at least ask you, for those who are watching and they maybe want to volunteer or want to support what you're doing, what's the best way to do it? Well, for legislation, you know, it's always really helpful for people to reach out to their own state representative or their state senators and say, you know, we support HB 510. We want this funding in the budget. We want to hear from people. You know, we're your representatives in the General Assembly, and it's really important that people make their voices heard and make sure that we know that this is something that they support and would want to see in our budget this year. Right. Yeah, and I think that specific legislation plus well, I think letting, I think the community needs to let our legislators know that public schools matter and that we need to invest and support them. Great. Well, to both of you, thanks for what you're doing. It's Thank a pleasure you. meeting both of you. Thank Good you. luck. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Appreciate it. All right. Stay right where you are because when we come back, we'll be talking to a former Teacher of the Year. Stick around. <laughs>